Alrighty folks, this is Jaybird Drone. I'm back with the uh, tutorial on the precision landing on the Mavic Air 2. So uh, the first part, we were successful two out of three. So I've got another battery in there. So let's go ahead and take off. And I want to note you have to have the drone um, directly under the uh, landing pad for it to detect. So here we go. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit subscribe and hit all notifications to be informed on the latest and greatest new drones. So, here we go. My phone recorder going and my SD card. So I'm going to let it hover over the pad for a few seconds. As you can see right there. And we're going to take her on up. And we're going to go out. Backwards. Okay. We're just going to take her on out, folks. We're going to do the uh, 300 feet again. Just like we did on the first part. Kind of a warm day today. So let's go ahead and take her on backwards the other way. I'm trying to keep my phone out of the sun. It got a little warm on the last flight. All right, let's go ahead and hit the uh, RTH. You just press and hold it. And we'll see how close we get to that landing pad. Like I said in the first part, you don't have to stop the SD card reading because this has sensors on the drone that will detect the landing pad. Some of the other drones like the Xeno 2 use the camera for the uh, landing pad uh, detection. So you don't have to worry about that on this one. I believe the uh, Femi X8 SE does also. Landing. Here it goes. It's directly above the landing pad and it's coming down. Okay, I'm going to bring the camera down. The camera will revert back upward uh, when it gets closer to the ground. So we're just using this as a demonstration to show you how close it gets onto the pad. So it's coming directly down. There goes the camera going up. It looks good, folks. It's right over the pad and coming down. And there we go. That's precision landing. So three out of three but there is no wind if you get a little bit of wind it could factor into it um, but there is absolutely no wind today so not a problem for the precision landing let's do one more gonna go out the other way now I'm gonna let it go up on its own and then it says home point has been updated I'm gonna let it hover there for a second as you can see, I'm just showing you for this demonstration that it's directly over the pad. Bring the camera back up. And I'm going to take her up to the uh, 300 mark.
Please consider hitting subscribe and hit all notifications to be informed on the latest and greatest new drones. And I like to fly some of my older drones as well. So there we go. 300 feet. How are we on that battery? Looks like we're getting kind of low. I didn't start out with a 100% battery. But that's good enough for this demonstration. Bring that gimbal down. I'm just going to take it out a little bit. Get a little bit of distance on it. And then I'll hit the RTH to bring her back to us. And that will show you the both directions, how it does. There is absolutely no wind today, which is good. Okay. Somebody looking up at our drone. Hey, how's it going? Okay, that's good. So let's hit RTH. Go home. Just hold it and I'm going to leave that camera down. I think that looks cool. Also hit the FN button. Brings you back up to us. Centered and downward. So I'm going to leave it down. For this demonstration I want to thank you all again for my uh, channel hitting over 500 subscribers thanks to you guys thank you very much and I look forward to continuing to put out great content for my subscribers you're all like family so thank you very much really means a lot to me so we're coming back to our home point as you can see here on the map and then we're going to see if it hits the landing pad from this direction. Art's coming on. That's cool. Okay, it's getting right over the uh, landing pad now. Once again, you don't have to leave the camera downward. I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes. I can adjust it backward. It'll still land on the pad regardless. But the uh, camera will revert back upward once it gets down to a certain uh, height to prevent any damage to the gimbal. So here it goes. Looks good. We're getting right over that pad. This will be four for four today, and here we go. Bingo, right where we took off. Doesn't get much better than that. Now that is precision landing, folks. So I want to thank you all again for subscribing to Jaybird Drone and for watching my videos. Have a great afternoon. Stay safe out there. Hit that subscribe button and hit the thumbs up on the way out. I appreciate all of you. Have a great day. See you later. Jaybird Drone signing off.